school you have 104 pupils and they all have learning difficulties but we also have a language specialism so a significant number of them have language difficulties as well. You were looking in the dictionary as well. Yeah. I'm going to give you three earlier. Yeah. And he actually said when he got yeah. it. Oh, yeah. At the Park School we do the national curriculum subjects, but on top of that we have a whole range of social development activities, and they're especially important to us. Our youngsters go gardening and look after pets in the science lab. They have a school newspaper that they're responsible for. Um, there's disco dancing throughout the day all sorts of exciting activities that actually are motivating and challenging but bring enjoyment and confidence. Right, ready for register very quickly please before I send you off. Saran, afternoon. Joe, afternoon. Good afternoon, if you're coming back. Stephen, afternoon. afternoon. What's wrong with your tie? I'm trying to fix it for you. Oh, right, you're fixing it, fantastic. In careers this afternoon, I want to talk about three things. Firstly, about what you're doing at college at the moment. Secondly, I want to talk about your work experience. And then thirdly, I want to look at application forms for college. Now, you won't be going straight into employment next year. Okay, you, hopefully most of you are going on to post-16. My is name is Judge Michael Lindsley, and I'm aiming to be a mechanic, and well, a bus mechanic mainly, because that's my dream to be one of those. When you go to college next year, you can start from where you finished off on the link course. Yeah. Fantastic. If I haven't came to the park school, I be well, okay, there weren't no other options, yeah. I've been stuck in the main school and I wouldn't have that much support help with my work and that stuff. You're well organised, Joe. Yeah. You are? Yes, that's why I left my pen at home. <laughs> You've got teachers that have laugh and joke with you, but in the mainstream, you wouldn't have that because they say, oh, just get on with your work. But in the park school, you get on with your work and you have a joke. So that's why it's more better to be part of the park school because, well, it's like a, a big family all crowded in together. Grosso. I'm in year 10 and I've been at school for six years. Yeah. I'm good about like maths, English, science, spellings, um, PE, um, science. I think the teachers are more fun and more good and I think they're much better than any other teachers in the school. Other schools. At the park, we have 50 staff, most of whom are part time. Um, we have a workforce of teaching assistants and teachers working together. We have an amazing staff team. I think every day is really special here. I don't think a day goes past when we don't get something that we get a huge buzz from, huge enjoyment. Every single day you can hear staff commenting on something very positive that's happened. But look at the book as well while you're doing it, because I'm pointing at what's next. Okay. One, and two, and one, and two, and one, and I think that the, the best thing for us is when a very difficult child makes progress and starts to understand their own difficulties and put strategies in place to cope. Um, when we can see progress with them, it's great. I 
run a breakfast club at the park school and it's a lovely start to the day. We have a nice calm start where children come in and integrate together and sometimes for some of the children they don't ever sit at a table to eat a meal so it's important that so the social skills they're learning. If a bus is late one morning so a child that normally would have breakfast doesn't get his breakfast or her breakfast the whole day can be off to a bad start just from something as minor as that where with other children it would be well you've missed your breakfast with our kids it's a major catastrophe. You can't possibly lump these children together and look at them as one because they're not, they're all completely individual. Putting them into mainstream might work for some of the children, but there's a lot of them that it wouldn't work for at all. The park school, it's a really calm and relaxing place to be because it's better than my last school because um, it, it's got loads of subjects that I like. And my other school, I like geography, history, maths, some of that sort of thing. But I've got to be there for two years. They didn't know I've got death and room or special needs. So I just told my mum to send them a letter and I was to move on. And then my mum said to me, it was still there for one more year and that I did. So I moved on from that into the park school. Okay, what about class support? What do we need to do in the classroom? Mrs not, Johnson can support. I don't think he's too bad in class, is he? I think he's... Once he's in class, he's okay, and once he's engaged, it's just a case of mm. making sure that he's, he gets there. There's a national debate about inclusion and an important issue about it locally, um, but I really believe that our youngsters need to be here. They need to be in a special setting, but we can still prepare them and help them integrate into mainstream settings, schools and colleges, and prepare for the future. My name's Luke and I'm 13. I've been at this school for five years. I've got a learning disability and I use my temper quite easily. When I last got angry, my mate got hit by some boy. Um, I stuck up for my mate and I got hit. And I had to hit back and then I was sat in a corner with one of the staff members and they helped me calm down. The staff will stop me being angry now and it helps me sometimes and sometimes, sometimes when I get really angry it doesn't help me very much. I think the park school's fantastic because it is a special school. We have a great staff ratio to children which enables us to look after the children on a one-to-one -one level. Um, in a bigger school that would never happen. We get to know the kids honestly. Um, if they need time out we can take them out and listen to their troubles. You get to know them really well. Yeah, so what actually started it? Him, he just came up on to me and started. Well, I shouted something over to him just for a joke and then he took it all serious. So, I have a feeling it starts every Monday though. Is there any particular. I had a bit of a problem today with two students. Because I knew them very well, I could talk to them separately and we managed to sort it, sort it out. Um, and then at the end of it, I turned around that they were both big people because they both could turn around and walk away from it. My name's Matthew, I've been at the park school for six years. I'm very good at playing the piano and saxophone and um, I think I've got maybe a career in music. I do get depressed sometimes that um, I realise I might not be able to um, get the kind of jobs other people in our school will be able to get when they leave. 
So I always feel that I'm a bit limited what I can do. When I left um, my old school, I didn't really had it. I didn't know any maths or any English. I couldn't spell anything. So really, when I went when I when I was in Year Six, I went right back to the basics, and then I kind of um, kind of worked my way up. I have. So now I feel like. I'm not as behind as I was when I first came to school. I think the Park School raises people's self-esteem and gives them the confidence that they need to succeed and get through in life. We help them prepare for the future. Right, you're going to bridge the foundation of Brooklyn's, aren't you? Yeah. Hello, my name is Alex the Lawyer and I am two years behind in all my subjects because when I was very little I was deaf, you see, and I had a bit of language problem. This code goes here. A couple of years ago I would think of myself as just some kind of piece of rubbish that has just been left there and nobody cares about me. I thought of myself that I wasn't worth living and I was just some kind of waste of space. And I felt very low about myself and I used to be very down in lessons. Okay, one more in. Get her! <laughs> My name is Sasha Trevor Taylor. I'm 15 years old from last month and I've been in part school since I was 11. The most difficult thing I'm trying to do is social work and probably independence, like travelling, shopping and well some of my challenges includes all the sports I'm willing to do, a bit of art I'm still practising lately and a bit of computers or technologies. Before I came here to park I was in my favourite primary school, I was in my area. I had to leave because I need to continue on learning and what's, what's to learn, what's going to happen. I think this school's helping me a little bit. Some things I can follow, you know. Just had to remember how to ask the, that teacher to repeat what he or she said. Fitness park school is not that bad, but it's still great. We have a song at the park school that we all sing together, that we all really, really love. It's a very special song for us. And sometimes when we've been a little bit sad, we've all come together and sung that song, and it's made us feel better. And at other times, when we're very, very happy and celebrating, we sing that song as well. And it really, really is important to us. So life here is really special and I think um, all the very hard work that goes on and the raising of, of youngsters' confidence and self-esteem really does give every single individual a chance to shine.